Salvator The theme Mogham Salvator is a realistic story based on diverse human nature and thoughts. For a baby, the best place in the world is its mother's arms. For the wild, the best place is the jungle. For Salvator, the best place in the universe is the island of Ischia, a little island in Italy. Salvatore, both in his prime youth or during the later stages of his life, does not transform himself. His shining eyes with innocent curiosity, a pleasant face, a laughing mouth all reveal his transparent soul which is never stained by the cunning of cosmopolitanism, the abysmal military life, the rejection of his fiancée. His pain and suffering from rheumatism, nothing can contaminate his innocence. He is a child of nature, and so he remains till the end of the story. Salvatore has never demanded anything either from life or from any person. His marriage with Asunta gave him peace and happiness. Asunta realizes the goodness of her husband and therefore never forgives the girl who rejected her husband. Salvatore, now a father of two boy children, finds immense pleasure when he bathes them in the sea. Their smallness makes him love. Salvatore takes to his father's profession and rows to the sea every evening to catch fish. He has with him his, his loving wife, two children and the island of Ischia. He is happy and doesn't want anything from life. Setting in Salvatore is located in the island of Ischia, a small island in Italy. The place is known to many tourists of the present genre as well as for its natural beauty. Likewise, the small canvas of the short story, the place is beautifully small with its rocks, sea and vineyards. People there are believed to be of small means and they have to work very hard to earn a livelihood. The simplicity of the island of Istria is infused into the character of Salvatore, the central character who never loses this trait of character in his many and traverse works of life. The rocks teach him to be generous and tolerant. The blue sky teaches him to be mute but sublime and the sea teaches him to withstand the adversities of life. The setting therefore is perfect. Now we come to the title. Morgan's short story, Salvatore, revolves around a character who is extraordinarily simple by nature and mind. He grows to be a man but still the boy in him sits tight in his soul with all simplicity and tolerance for ever although Salvatore the boy grows to manhood. As a fisherman in the, mar- in the making, Salvatore learns to love the sea which supplies his family and the fishing community of the islanders of Istria, Italy with provisions for life. Salvatore's father owns a vineyard too, that also is a very useful means for the family to live by. The island of Istria is a wonderful place with its sea and rocks where Salvatore finds his own identity. He however, in the inevitability of his youth, falls in love with a local beauty. She reciprocates, but the marriage of the two lovers cannot be solemnized as Salvatore has to join the army of King Victor Emmanuel as a matter of compulsion. Life in army is almost unbearable for a soul in whose heart the sea, rocks, vineyards, twilights of Ischia are deeply embossed. Military services takes Salvatore to many places including China where he is afflicted with rheumatism, an extremely painful disease for the joints in one's body. He is retrenched from his service because of this ailment and that makes him happy. Back to Istria with a high to marry his fiancée, he gets a jolt when the girl refuses him flatly to marry because of his ailment. 
Matching with his humble nature, he marries Asunta, another local girl who not so beautiful although bears two beautiful boy children to Salvatore. Now physically grown up, Salvatore is happy with his brothers, a loving wife, two beautiful sons and the island of Istria and bears the gnawing pain of rheumatism with indifference. The entire story being a saga of Salvatore, the title is justified. Critical Appreciation Salvatore by Somerset Maugham is an unflinching story of a man who hardly differentiates between the mean and sordid. He accepts life as it comes to him. His compulsory service in the military, feeling a fish out of water in the services, affliction of rheumatism, retrenchment, return to Istria, rejection of the fiancé, marriage with Ostenta, he bears all with partial stoicism. The author seems to have created Salvatore as a mold of clay having his shapes by every turn of the plot maker's will. He was an author of few words. Therefore, we can see through the heart of the central character. We see that Salvatore lacks the orthodox qualities of a hero. His easy-going simple life has been the subject of the short story and that has been well established by the author in a straightforward manner. Presentation of the landscape of the island of Istria is aptly done so as to imply that Salvatore is best suited to the ambience of the island and that a good man can live being a good man in a place abounding with hardship. Mention may be made that Morgan was a realist. He had an intense interest in human nature. He was keenly aware of the contradictions and frustrations of life. Therefore, avoiding all roundabout expressions, he wrote Salvatore in a prose that was clear, simple and precise. Salvatore is an unbelievable.